comics or anything real or anything that requires more than a one-liner response. Yes, white privilege exists, but it's a total distraction derailment that was mainly socially engineered at the universities owned by rich white people. I preferred the days of real spontaneous radicalism, not the socially engineered version where white privilege wasn't talked around like free government cheese, which it basically is since most of these people going to college these days are getting loans from rich white oligarchs so they can remain permanent debt slaves and permanently confused. <laughs> That's great, Keith. Is that it? Yeah. For now, I might uh, throw in a few things when I edit it, you know? Yeah. You write your stuff in a text block mm -hmm. off of your platform and then copy it in when it looks good? Actually, a lot of the times it starts off with, like, a fucking email raised to someone, and then I send it to, like, ten more people or so, and then, um, then I, like, start thinking about other stuff that I didn't put into the race. Yeah. And then I... <laughs> and then I make a couple of edits, usually. Uh -huh. I think I'm already exhausted. I've been... Basically, I'm sort of moved in enough that I'm now, like, back on the internet, and I'm, like, trying to catch up with things that matter, and I'm so out of it. But I really enjoyed that article on the, the new mayor being lost at sea. Another mayor lost at sea. Did you look at it yet? It's Steve Doohan. I really do like that guy. He's, he's so dry, and he's so moderate, yet scathing. He's, like, scathing and moderate at the same time. Like, he gets under the wire. He stays under the radar. Oh, British style. Yeah, I love how he goes, interesting, or, or no, he had, he had this thing, I, I sent it to Michael Cox, the mayor's spokesman, because Dewan is just straight up making fun of Cox. Right yeah, it's really good, and then I was having fun tweeting Interpol with my dream and ambition that Charlie Hales would be apprehended on his human rights crimes by the International Police Organization. And that his attempt to flee justice, like he's a flight risk. Calling the former mayor a flight risk? Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then I found out that Capuya lady blocks me on Twitter because she calls Charlie Hales her mentor in November 2016. Oh, thanks, my mentor, Charlie Hales. And so I was having fun playing with my hashtags, not Charlie Hales, is the amazing quote, doing got out of Steve, Steve Novick. And so then I'm playing with not Charlie Hale's apologist, not Charlie Hale's enabler, not Charlie Hale's collaborator. Since she's a, since she's a public official, you should uh, launch a thing against her. We should do a class action lawsuit against all the well, people. Well, yeah. Yeah. You know, that quote I found from Lisa, so Lisa Muggeridge, this is changing subject slightly, she got unblocked off Twitter yesterday. She's my favorite British economic social work blogger lady. But um, that quote I found, I found it so highly relevant. And it, it was basically saying that if you cannot listen to the opinion of one person on your projected policy, you are not fit to c create policy for millions. And in that case, being the British state. But I felt like, wow, that's exactly where we were with the previous administration and with this administration is they cannot even listen to an alternate viewpoint. They have to silence our viewpoints. So why should they craft policy if they can't take input from constituents? Like the whole blocking and gagging of our voices. It's just, it immediately nullifies them in terms of their potential leadership ability. <sighs> Ted Wheeler's such a tool. I, I, the dead giveaway on that is that he reads the stupid city attorney's crafted threat on democracy. We will arrest you. We will eject you. We will do blah, blah, blah in front of every meeting. To me, I'm like, you're already looking like a fascist pig without even having to, to do anything much more than like read your script. To me, those city attorneys are kind of crafty. They're making a fool of him. I wonder if they do that on purpose. It seems like they did it to Charlie on purpose. Just like help help aid and assist political euthanasia. Like, political euthanasia. <laughs> it's like the city attorneys are just like, 
letting mayor after mayor walk off the cliff and nobody's giving them sound legal advice at all. If they if they did, they'd be out of a job because they they would be problem free. It would be a quick and efficient machine. Oh yeah. So they have to make more busy all the gatekeepers and all the like sell out radicals around here. It's like one of my new projects. Did you like, see the Chihuahua pictures? Uh, you I could destroy all these fucking people, like fucking Teresa Rayford and everyone. No, 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 no. I lay off my Teresa. I like Hell her. Oh no, she's fucking hanging out with fucking child rapists. She's a fucking scum. She fucking tweeted my image out, knowing that the cops would see it. Fucking fuck that bitch. She's a bitch. I don't like that language, Keith. Oh, Come on, it's misogynistic. No, it isn't. Well, I don't know. You're the dog lover. Call a man a dick. No. I want. I want you and Teresa to make up. Her to stop hanging out with the pedos. You to stop hanging out with the pedos, and then we'll all be good. Isn't a bitch a female dog? So if she wants to be a lap dog for the state, doesn't that make her a bitch? Okay, so if she hangs out with a convicted criminal. She the difference between Bob Tundra West too, like the head of the HRC all the time. Oh, creepy. Okay, so I, little fucking I do have a hierarchy of evil that pedophilia is like the worst of the worst. If somebody's a drug dealer or whatever and they're better now, I think there is a hierarchy of evil. But you're saying she hangs out with pedophiles, whereas you only hang out with Bob West, who's like. Uh, not sure Putin what he did. did nothing except have a mental crisis and stuck a fucking knife to a woman's throat and got fucking wrongfully convicted. Well, I'm glad I'm not the woman he stuck a knife to my throat. He doesn't oh, seem you that... you know what? If you were, like, chasing around a mentally ill guy and tormenting him for, like, fucking days and then fucking just kept doing it and kept doing it and then the guy finally snapped and stuck a fucking knife to your throat, well, you know what? Maybe that's not the most, uh the best response, but you know what? Who gives a fuck? Really? I could see myself doing that same fucking thing if someone just fucking pestered the fuck out of me and I was bipolar, off my meds and homeless and someone's fucking just running around tormenting me. Like, fuck that. Well, everyone can snap. Fuck that piece of shit. Everyone can snap and sometimes... Fuck that piece of shit, though. You know? What, whatever he doesn't get a free pass and fucking he went to fucking prison so fucking well fucking Terry him. Bean avoided prison so he got away with raping kids destroying their lives and then he still gets to be in the political echelon like Harvey Weinstein but I, I think he can go the way of Harvey Weinstein I heard what did I hear okay somebody oh, I'm, get, I'm getting there but you wanna know what there's a lot of empower Portland uh huh they blocked me on Facebook for talking about Terry Bean. And then, uh, because I was talking some shit, right, about Terry Bean. Uh. And they came, and the ACLU and how they work with the ACLU mm-hmm. and NAMBLA defense, were defending NAMBLA and how yeah. Terry Bean's been getting fucking, you know, giving money to the ACLU and he's their little pedophile fuckboy financial funder for the last 25 years. Mm-hmm. Is, Days of fucking Ambo, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, and then Kristen Bowling from Empower Portland came on and fucking... And uh, Eli was saying something about Terry Bean and then uh, Kristen Bowling from Empower Portland, she came <laughs> on and fucking posted some shit about... What about Sam Resnick? I wonder what he has to think about this. Did you hear about all that stuff? See, I don't, I, that's kind of why I need to write this stuff down. I don't know all these names, and I don't know all these names. Sam controversy, it's like, he supposedly got some women high on mushroom and had sex with them when they weren't fully capacitated or whatever, you know? Uh, Even though they were, like, willing participants, and then they were, like, all, I felt dirty, and, like, you know, like, manipulated me the next day or whatever. Or whatever, you know? So it's like a total, like, side issue type of thing, you know what I mean? Where, well, maybe he did. Maybe he gave you a roofie, too. I don't know. But, uh, but you want to know what? Sam Resnick.
that should not be brought up in a fucking conversation about Terry Beans. And then I called, I called uh, them out for doing that shit. I'm like, like, you know, maybe you need to do because Eli came in and he was like, what, what Terry Bean got to do with all this, or or what Sam Resnick got to do with Terry Bean or whatever, and then Kristen Bowling's all like, do your homework. And then uh, I told I told uh, her to do the same thing. What do you think about Gregory McKelvey's lawsuit against Mimi? Supposedly, Jesse Sponberg has tipped her off that uh, Gregory has been told to do X, Y, Z because he's going to sue Mimi. And Mimi's like, yeah, they can serve me. They can find my address easily. And... Mimi has a, some pretty cogent analysis of what's going on in the way of, like, him being kind of like a honey trap to lead people to arrest and police and, like, so on the fence about things. But um, I would like to get more to the bottom of what his offenses were, like, in terms of women and their... I just do a next scathing uh, indictment on, like, a lot of... Strangulation? On a lot of the people around here, from the left to the right, you know? Yeah. But my my main focus is on the left, because they're fucking so full of shit, and I know so much about them, you know? I just asked Victoria Taft why why the GOP waited until after Trump was elected to ask Charlie Hales to resign. And I, I was bragging, well, I asked him to resign after he did the Larry O'Day shooting cover-up. And I face the consequences, which are being brutalized by cops. <laughs> so I'm just kind of like. So that's kind of interesting, though, that I was the I was one of the main people that exposed the the embedded uh, paramedics with the riot. Oh Please. no! Yeah, thank yeah. you. That's and way then, important. And then empowered Portland used my research. Oh, I see. Yeah, and, and they didn't really and credit then they you. They just tossed me away because I like have an opinion about that. No, but I think you are a street medic, and you come from a medical family, so I think you feel those medical medical ethics issues on a deeper level. As do I. I think my we have that in common. My mom had her fucking tits chopped off, right? Mm. By a guy, she got misdiagnosed with breast cancer. Oh my god! The guy chopped off her tip, right? Oh my god! And on top of it, he didn't do a very good job.